Do you know what I love more than anything? Getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. Which is why I'm in the middle of a river. Hoping that a big bass scare them off, which is not quite helping. But I do have a question to answer. If I could find it because I had it, but now I found it. By Stealthy Mongoose. That's a Stealthy Mongoose, right? Anyways. His question is, can I get an INTP video on how to focus on things that are just of medium interest? I could get so much accomplished if I could avoid zoning out constantly. Well, good old stealthy mongoose, we're going to raise out of our water, place our phone in another dimension, and go on a little ride down the river. Yes, but to start, be start answering your question, well, first, let me sympathize. Yes, it sucks. As an INTP, it is very difficult to maintain on mediocre tasks. And that's what I think you're talking about, or at least things that are not quite as extreme. Especially for me, it's, it's either I am negative 100% operating or 1,000% operating. For instance, floating in this river. Why make a silly video? Well, actually, no, this is a really bad example, but yeah, if, if something isn't worth going so extreme on, then it's almost, some, who cares about it? And some of the more mediocre things like, well, laundry, getting the dishes done, taking out the trash, but not even that, so like fixing up a garden, building something. Um, you know, but even just something kind of more, it doesn't have to be taking over the world. It doesn't have to be, well, um, you know, extreme. So to be quite honest, Stealthy Mongoose, is that I am going to drown in this river. Just kidding. To be quite honest, I'm still trying to figure out myself. So hopefully this video can be a medium that other INTPs can pitch in their, their, um, the thoughts, and maybe in older INTPs who have explored um, I, or ways to not be zoning out all the time. Um, one of the things that I have um, done, wow, there's like bugs going around in circles. Sorry, I was <laughs> speaking about being zoned out, or maybe that's more like distracted. I don't know if you could see it. It's a lot of bugs. Um, is that whatever you're zoning out about, try to find a way to take action about it rather than it just simply being a whole bunch of intangible abstract thoughts how can they actually be pursued there's some music going on um so if you're coming up with an experiment like for me making films though i haven't been doing so great at it but you know, I'm writing, so it's somewhat practical. Just like, how can you turn your practical, how can you turn your abstract thoughts into practical realities? And part of the struggle is how do you break it up into bite-sized pieces so that you yourself can um, not be so easily overwhelmed by all of the necessary things to get your your vision completed. Um, Having friends is a good start um, because some people, they, especially for INTPs, we're very much visionary people. And some people greatly thrive on visionary people. So if you can find somebody who can kind of be visionary with you, I'm going to try to show you my dog because he's cute and he's peeking at me. I don't know if you can even see him. Oh, there he is. I'm about to run into a whole bunch of sticks. The place where I lost my wallet. Right? Right there. <laughs> so, so that's one thing. Because um, the other problem with INTPs is that we find no real necessity to do something if it's not really causing any harm or you can just easily adapt to it. I find that we're the, we're the greatest visionary people who maybe can make things more efficient and or cooler or having some kind of dream, but we're also the most adaptable individuals. 
And so, well, there goes that dream. So, putting yourself in responsibility where you have a responsibility to carry out some of the more practical things. Um, and some of the responsibility, like have a, a, a consequence to you not completing those mediocre tasks. So, maybe if you value a friendship, you would say you are roommates with somebody, and one of the mediocre tasks, or medial tasks, that, or whatever, is mowing the lawn. And if you're wanting to establish or keep peace in the home between you and your friend, then you're going to have to mow the lawn when it's your time to mow the lawn, or, or whatever, or cook dinner, or, or whatnot. But if you are solely yourself, you're not, no one depends on you, or no one, you have no responsibility, then, um, then you have no reason to have, or to pursue any of those mediocre tasks. I really wish you could see the boat, so it would look a little less awkward, because I could really be in this position anywhere, except the background slowly moves, <laughs> I just kicked the ground and I thought it was a fish. This is the cutest thing, oh, you can't even see it, because I'm so fat. It's, it's pink and flowery, and if I move too much, I'm going to fall in the river, and my poor camera is going to get in the river too, and that won't be good. I wonder how far I should go. There's all my stuff up, upstairs, and my dog is like, what the crap are you doing, you crazy, crazy boy? So, hopefully, hopefully that helps. Um, yeah, and trying to find projects that, that are a lot more doable, you know, that are not so extreme like trying to build a spaceship how about and it's because it's really difficult it's really easy to um come up with a simple idea at first and then it just starts blowing up on itself and it gets more and more complex the more and more you think about it and then before you know it you've solved world peace and you're gonna be the next czar <laughs> and whatnot so that doesn't work now does it i really don't know how to get back from here I just start floating downstream. So, I'll see another bit in another life. You never know. Um, INTPs and other people. Um, how would you address this question? And um, wish me luck. <laughs>